This is the Hydroshock by Ramcat Broadheads, and this is why you need this head. This broadhead is designed to fly exactly like a field point, so that means less time tuning and more time in the woods. The concave scoop allows body mass to be displaced over and around the broadhead, so you have increased entrance and exit wounds. We actually have back cut technology, so what this will allow the blades to do is pivot forward upon impact, and it'll actually cut on its way back out as the deer is moving. And you'll spend less time trying to track that animal. The Hydroshock by Ramcat Broadheads. It's summertime and everybody's thinking about getting out in the woods and hunting this fall. We're going to talk about Slick Trick Broadheads today. Slick Trick's known uh, for its fixed head designs with the X cut and the four blade design. Last year they came out with an awesome broadhead called the Raptor Trick, the uh, first mechanical ever in the line, and uh, it was super, super successful. But today we're going to talk about the Viper Trick SS, and this broadhead right here flies like a dart. The Viper Trick SS has an inch and sixteenth cutting diameter with a 7 8 bleeder blade with a total cutting surface of 1 and 15 sixteenths. With the cut on contact design from the Viper Trick SS from Slick Trick Broadheads, it doesn't matter if you're shooting a low poundage compound bow or a 70 80 pound compound bow, for all that matters, even a crossbow. The Viper Trick SS will perform for anyone. A few things that I really like about the Slick Trick Viper Trick SS is it's all stainless steel. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the broadhead pitting. If it can get wet, moisture can run, and it's never going to rust or pit on you. Uh, another thing is the ferrule design. The ferrule design on the Viper Trick and the Viper Trick SS, it's by far superior than any other uh, fixed blade on the market. The sleek ferrule design, super skinny, means it's low, very low resistance on impact. And what that means is your arrow's not slowing down as it enters an animal. You can find the Slick Trick Viper Trick right here on Amazon. Let's cut all that scientific jargon and shoot you straight. Here's my take. Time to talk about the Ramcat Cage Ripper. All right, let's talk about the Cage Ripper from Ramcat. They have extended their mechanical line, and just when I thought they couldn't get any better, boom. I'm pretty excited about all the features this thing has to offer and I cannot wait. I've been a fixed blade guy with the Hydroshock for the last two years, but nope. I am going to switch over and give this a whirl because of the features. So let's dive into it and check it out. All right, so there it is. Look at this thing. So here's some of the amazing features. You know, if you have a traditional mechanical broadhead, a lot of times people always talk about how it'll open before they're going to go shoot or it might just kind of get loose on you well it's impossible with this ramcat so let's talk about how this thing works it actually has a plunger system uh, as opposed to a traditional mechanical broadhead which means that it can't open right now it's not going to open up on you when you're just about ready to draw back it has to have pressure from the front end so at the end of the day this is how it's going to work when it hits just like that, look at that, over two inches, which is exciting for me because right now I'm shooting the Hydroshock and it's an inch and three eighths, so to have that much more cutting diameter is gonna be awesome in the field. Now, to relock it, it's very simple. You just pull the broadhead up and you can actually, without an O-ring, you can just pull down on this button right here and they're back in just like that. That quickly, you're back and ready to go and you're not worried about an O-ring coming off in the back or these actually opening before you shoot. It has all these different edges up on the ferrule. I mean, I cannot wait to shoot this thing. It's going to bring a whole new dynamic to what Ramcat's doing, expanding out on their mechanical line, giving it a little bit of an edge with this plunger system. It still has the concave scoop design in the front to actually make sure that it flies straight. So all in all, I can't wait to shoot. This is new for 2019. This is the Cage Ripper by Ramcat, and it's going at the end of my arrow for this season. Hi, I'm John Severson with Fairdown Outdoors, and I'm here to talk to you about a new broadhead that we came out with this year from Rage. Um, it's called our Hypodermic NC. Really an awesome broadhead. Um, it's based on our Hypodermic Feral, um, but the difference that you see, one of the things that, that we do with Rage is we constantly evolve and listen to our consumers and, and come up with unique ways to do things. And one of the things that we did with this new broadhead is we eliminated the use of a collar of any kind, whether it be an O-ring or a shot collar. So it uses a pretty unique system that's built into the blade. So the first thing you can see is there's two fasteners here and then built into the inside of the blade is a little spring that that clip system that it, it doesn't break but it allows you to lock the blades into place. So it still uses that slip cam feature the way that our the Rage blades have always been deployed um, but it locks it into place. So when the, when the broadhead hits and deploys 
the pressure on the front shoulder of it drives it back and slides the blade back into place into its two inch cutting diameter. So it's a two inch cut, 100 grain. Um, this is the vertical bow version. Uh, just an awesome broadhead, very solid, no vibration. Um, just a really good head. It blows a big hole just like Rage are known for, but you don't have to worry about the use of a collar of any, any kind. So really unique broadhead. Um, it's one to try for sure. So get out there and give it a shot. Thanks. Hey guys, Chris and Casey Kiefer here. We want to talk to you about Ramcat and why we made the switch. Yeah, Ramcat broadheads. We're shooting them in the fall. Super excited to head out there. It's basically been a year-long process of us doing independent testing on broadheads to find the next broadhead that we could put our trust behind to go out there in the field and use every single day. Well, I think that's just it. And for us, what we found was that the technology that's built into a Ramcat allows it to do some things that no other broadhead can do. Yeah, that's right. Let's talk a little bit about the technology. You know, first off, Ramcat makes a variation of broadheads. This happens to be the original with a deep six. Yep. Uh, they make original that aren't deep six. They've got diamond back. They've got a lot of different broadheads. But in this particular bro uh, broadhead right here, Ramcat has the airfoil technology at the front of the ferrule. So when you look at that ferrule, you're gonna see these concave scoops at the front of the ferrule. What that is designed to do is to create an airfoil. It kicks the air out and away from the aero shaft, stabilizing the air, which is gonna give you maximum accuracy. Yes. And it proved it in the accuracy testing. Oh, did. absolutely. And then you wanna talk about something else that's really cool is the back cut technology. So the back cut technology is the back of the blades are sharp. When the broadhead goes through and opens up that wound channel, if it does happen to get stuck on the other side, it's gonna just work its way and it's cutting everything along the way. Yep. Now we've done some independent testing, as Casey's mentioned, we've, done, we've shot it into ballistic gel, yep. right? We actually fired a nine millimeter into ballistic gel and a Ramcat 100 grain original went all the way through and the nine millimeter bullet did not. Yeah, we did a lot of comparison testing, uh, especially across the line of Ramcat broadheads and all of them perform incredibly well. So I'm super excited to hit the field this fall with these things. I can't wait to really put them to the test on animals and see what they do. Hits like a ram, cuts like a cat, and that right there is why we made the Every piece of gear and every minute of practice backs up one crucial accessory that makes a deadly first impression. Introducing Titanium X Broadheads from True Glow. A titanium ferrule provides incredible accuracy and durability. Simply put, tougher metal makes a better broadhead. The titanium tip slices hide and flesh immediately upon impact, and precision sharpened blades deliver devastating damage. Available in a variety of blade configurations, including amazingly accurate mechanical blades and powerful fixed blade designs. Titanium X broadheads are also available in dedicated crossbow models. Titanium X broadheads are spin tested and sharpness tested, providing the X factor that skilled hunters deserve. Titanium X by True Blood. So you want to know what it's like to flip the same light switch for 40 years. To design, cut, build and assemble millions of broadheads. Pink ones, silver ones, ones that open with ball bearings and others that just cut like hell. So you want to know what it's like to wear a blue collar and grow a manly beard. To work on machines that get oil on your shirt and grit in your fingernails. To work on machines that spit out product with the precision of Hemingway's words. So you want to know what it's like to be made in America? So you want to know what it's like to push old buttons, to shovel snow during your lunch break, and to sweat over a product people love and trust. So you want to know what it's like to ship the beginning of someone's story, to be the place where it all started, to be the place that they trust. So you want to know what it's like to be made in Connecticut, where it's cold, creaky and old, where the sounds would make our forefathers proud and our enemies jealous. Here, people care and have a first name, 
Here, it's about products that matter and machines that we know how to fix. Here, it's oil and dirt and noises that fill your soul like music from a hymn. So you want to know what it's like to be built by America? So you want to know what it's like to build with your hands, to craft with your mind, and to reminisce with your soul. So you want to know what it's like to make the old new, to teach the young how to walk in the path of the old, and show someone the heritage that we have all grown to love. And that's what it's like to be built by America.